foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. Basically, yeah, let's I'm run it back one more time. Okay, here we go. Call me the health inspector, built it, automatic bullshit detector. These songs redefine the line between sick and sickly. One bad step and the song misses history. Ruin songs. Yeah, yeah. Hello everyone, my name is Bradley. I have a Brad Taste of Music, and today we're going to be exploring some ruined songs. Uh, today I will be recording this in a slightly lower quality format because my computer is having some issues and I'm probably going to be doing it like this until I figure out what's going on. Picture this. You're listening to your favorite song or what you think is your favorite song until BAM! It hits you with one of the worst things you've ever heard. That is the prompt for today. Songs that are ruined. Songs that sounded amazing in the very beginning but something happened and they ruined your experience. Let's jump right into it. First request, first song, first thing. Amityville by Eminem is a great song with good lyrics and a great rhyme scheme until Bizarre Verse starts at 125. Yeah, okay, so I know this song. Basically, Eminem kills the song, but it's just too much awful shit sprinkled in with Bizarre's terrible verse. <laughs> it's the world's shortest verse. Now we get to uh, Bizarre's verse, and holy good god, this verse is terrible. You can already see this. This is what we're in for. Yeah, no. See, now that, if you read the lyrics, that's all you gotta know. It's a bad verse, okay? It's very bad, okay? And then Eminem comes back in and the song gets hard again. At least Eminem's is like, you know, not the worst thing that's ever existed. Keep My Spirit Alive by Kanye West. I had this song on repeat to the point where it became my most played song on Spotify and then Kanye decided to take KC off the song. His singing on that song is beautiful and adds so much to it. And Kanye took him off and replaced him. Uh, replaced it. It was so annoying. He's singing on the hook. I just stopped listening to the song. Kanye's annoying. Singing on the hook ruins the song for me. I'm curious, but not curious enough to check it out. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I, I'm curious enough. Okay. You can take it all with the Lord on my side. Oh, I see. Okay. Yo, flush the work, just in it. Okay, so I guess I hear Kanye singing. It's kind of funny, but I mean, it just kind of is a small replacement to the song. It doesn't necessarily, for me personally, destroy the track. Uh, but I did think the other hook was better. Something just like this by the Chainsmokers. Nope. No, this song is horrible. This song is not good in any degree. So, I'm already vetoing this. When it comes to music, I'm a very easy man to please. Clearly. Clearly. Uh, if the instrumental or musical ideas of the song are interesting enough and the lyrics aren't overly bad, I will generally like the song. I can't deny that I really love Chris Martin's vocals over the instrumental before the chorus, and I love how the song uh, is being structurally set up. But what do you know, at 105, I'm reminded that I'm listening to a Chainsmokers song when the stupidly unnecessary drop rolls around. Not only that, it sounds like something I could easily replicate in GarageBand in two minutes. I mean, I hate the song personally. Two, mil two billion views, by the way. Two billion views for this horrible song. I hate it. I hate this song. It's so shit. Everyone get in the pit. The song feels so paper thin. The build up is so weak. The drop is so weak. Everything about this song is weak. How can you ruin a song that's already terrible? Red headphones, bad example, because the song sucks ass. Okay, I'm just saying what everyone's thinking, okay? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Honestly, girls want girls with Drake. I like the beat and Drake's boring voice worked. However, the one line, say you're, that you're a lesbian girl, me too, makes me want to die. Hey, look, I'm not part of the LGBT, so I probably don't, you know, have any necessary connection. But when I heard that line, dude, it cracked me up so hard. Uh, I couldn't help but say, you know what? It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. If you take that seriously, then that's on you. Lil Baby goes way too hard on that track. It's the most memorable part of the song. I feel like it wouldn't have been a hit if he didn't say that stupid line. So in my opinion, it can't really be ruined if the song wouldn't have existed if it wasn't for that one line. I'm just saying. 
Young and Menace, Fall Out Boy. I really enjoyed the first verse and thought it set the tone for the song very well, and then the chorus came and ruined it. Patrick Stump's annoying, glitchy, pitch-shifting vocals, along with one of the worst drops I've ever heard, makes it unlistenable. The fact that he's just repeating the line Young and Menace over and over and over again makes it seem boring and repetitive, too. As a massive Fall Out Boy fan, I have to say that this song and the whole album was such a letdown. Yes, this song is horrific. It is absolutely terrible. I'm going to give a dislike to everything I click on so that they don't ever show up again in my recommended. Young and Menace, off of the great album Mania. Hear those shit pitched vocals immediately? Oh my god. So, here's my argument as to why this isn't a ruined song. The song sucks ass from the start to this point. The song sucks from the beginning, off-key singing, already pitch-shifting. You almost know that it's going to be a terrible song before it even gets to this horrible drop. So, bad example. Even though it's a good example, I'm going to give this example a smiley ball. You can see this working? No. I have. There's no timeline where this ever works. I'm not even going to look at that, okay? Roses by the Chainsmokers is a really sweet, intimate pop love song, and the vibe is immaculate through the first verse and the chorus, and even the drop itself, but while a bit harsher on the tone set doesn't really ruin it, it's the gang vocals at 138. Wait, there's gang? What? That totally threw the intimacy and sweetness out the window and turned it into f some full aggro trap type garbage. The, the what? This is the most racist comment I've ever seen. What's wrong with some gang vocals, huh? Gang, 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 gang. We shoot them up. Yeah, bitch, we shoot them up. We, sh we show up to the club and we shoot it up. I don't know a single place I haven't shot up yet. Yeah. Take it slow, but it's not typical. I've already heard this song. This, in my opinion, is the best Chainsmokers song, even though I don't really think that there's a great Chainsmokers song. What? 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 I think you're just being racist, all right? All I hear is some homies, okay? I'm just saying. That being said, this is still, in my opinion, yeah, no, the, the drop on this, this, this song is somehow easily the most tolerable Chainsmokers song that's ever existed. Uh, funny example, because I never really noticed those vocals in the background, so uh, you, you now brought those to my attention. Earth by Lil Dicky is a fantastic piece of music until the first second of the instrumental hits. That's how I feel about the Young and Menace suggestion. As funny as this comment is, there's some truth uh, to it. Yeah, no, it literally is. From the very first moment of that song, is is horrible. Oh, apparently by J. Cole, while the first verse and chorus are centered lyrically around his love for his home, and apparently how he keeps his head high, I was enjoying it because of, it, it was heartfelt, but then the second verse, yeah, it's like, I'm hot dog, catch up to me. Oh yeah, and they give an, a virgin an urgent to rape me. That that line too. Yeah, it's got some horrible lines in there, I will agree. First time I heard the song was three years ago and I remember it so vividly because I paused the song after her in the ver second verse and repeated listens. I haven't made it better. Love the production all throughout. Yeah, I enjoy the song overall, but I will agree that it's bad. Oh! 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 Jason panties getting dong. Yeah, J. Cole. Here we go. You know what? I got some nostalgia with this song. Actually, I got a lot of nostalgia with this song, so I don't think there'll ever be a situation where I necessarily hate the second verse, because the whole thing, I just remember, like, that, as a kid, I thought this shit was, like, the coolest shit ever, okay? Not the raping line or the hot dog line, but just this album I found really cool as a kid, so I, I don't think there'll ever be a situation where I hate it, but I do see your point. Yeah, and well said. You can easily miss that bar. I feel like there's other examples here, like Young and Menace, where you, there is no dodging the awful shit. Lane Boy, 34, I wasn't raised in the hood, but I know a thing or two about pain and darkness makes me cringe every time. 
but the song still slaps pretty hard afterwards. There are a couple of lines on that song where I'd say that they completely ruin the experience, but I will say that when I heard that line, it literally is like the most white Ohio, I don't know anything about anything line ever. It just is like, why? Unlike the last one, you cannot miss this line. When it shows up, it is directly right in front of your face. It takes up like five bars. Okay, it is like, I wasn't raised in the... I wasn't raised in the hood, but I know a thing or two about pain and darkness. <gasps> Good example. It's so stupid. It's like, it's like trying to relate to black people. You know, it's, it's like the white kid going over to the black kid's lunch table. Okay. And saying, Hey guys, I relate to your struggles. Can I sit here? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Oh shit, down with the sickness by Disturbed, 324 easily. Uh, it's actually a pretty infectious, catchy sort of mainstream rock song, and then they hit you with the domestic abuse solo in the bridge. It just ruins the song, it ruins the song, it ruins music, it ruins your day, it also ruins the sickness of you wanting to get down with. I love that comment. Um, I'm, of course, going to play the gay version of this song, which I think is significantly better, and I will say that it takes that domestic abuse segment, uh, and <laughs> I, I feel like it improves it tenfold, okay? I think it's here. Here we go. I Ladies and gentlemen, I say that uh, that improves the song. I don't know about you. I don't know about the original, but that improves that song, okay? And that's all that matters this Christmas season. Next! Give them not even a statement. Walk in the arraignment, shoot the bailiff karate. The chorus on Eminem's Offended, the verses are good, instrumental good, the song could have been one of the best from the album. Then you get hit with the wacky out of space chorus that with terrible bars, the last one always being the final blow hurts to hear it. Yep! I remember when I was reviewing this album, and I was like, huh, this could have been one of the best here. It was easily one of the best songs on the album. And then the chorus was literally so shit. The chorus was so bad that it just actually ruined the song. This is a great example. I even gave it a thumbs up before making this video. Honey, keep the training. Got it with the stainless. I'll just call it shoddy entertainment. It isn't robbery and dismembering body limb principles. This gone. Here we go. Get the president to respond. Oh, yeah. Everybody likes me. Everybody hates me. Drag my name through the mud, through the dirt. It's my turn. These drugs and hard snares bring up. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I mean, it is like... It... Wow. It is... It, it feels like a parody. It... It's so bad. It is so bad. It is so bad. Oh my god. Again, prime example. Really great example of a song that's completely ruined. As it was fine before that chorus. And oh yeah, and it does that. And every single time it goes back to that chorus, it's painful. It's more painful than the last. And yes, if anyone just joining now to the stream, that is Lane Boy in the corner. I used to think the infamous Creep by Radiohead was an amazing song, and then BAM, they create some of the best music of all time. Totally ruined me. <laughs> you know, this isn't technically the prompt, but I do think that this is an interesting example, as, you know, Creep was, like, before they did their most incredible, ambitious work, It Creep was peak Radiohead. Uh, I guess I'll play Creep, and then I'll play one of my personal favorite Radiohead songs off of Moonshape Pool. Creep, if it was made by another band, would be their best song. You know, yeah, yeah, that's the thing, though. Is the Creep is a great song, even though it's kind of basic. <laughs> Couldn't look you in the eye. Ah, ah. I 
don't want a diamond grill. Okay, and then we listen to, uh... Man, immediately, it's insane. Is an amazing solid track, but the experimental shit that they ended up doing feels like it's on another planet. Like kinda like Binky was that and that one episode of Arthur. Okay? Smiley Ball. A song one of my favorite songs off of one of my favorite albums. Hey. Hey. Niggas ain't gotta respect. I'm gonna say Pain 1993. Drake's monotone delivery fits pretty well over this wavy beat, but then Cardi joins halfway through. His high-pitched voice for the particular song does not fit. Uh, the low-key vibe at all. Okay. I'm willing to give it a shot. Seems like a controversial pick. Yo, Pia, you wanna come out here? Hey. Hey. Just gotta mention not in Tyson. It's a beachfront. Okay. Is she bringing four friends? I know I hit at least one. Got it's not bad me. at all, actually. Hey, they tell I'm hungry, you know, I wait to be late. I do these beers in my coat. I don't even want to take that to me up for. You know what? Drake did really good. Cardi, I'm a fan of Cardi. This is not his best work. But it's also not the worst thing ever. But still, I think that's actually a pretty decent example. I doubt Brad would like any part of this song, even aside from those lyrics. Okay, well, I'm skipping over. Next. <laughs> Alibi. Oh, 30 seconds to Mars. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No Jared Leto. Masked Wolf, Astronaut in the Ocean, the first hook you hear is in a TikTok, it actually is really fucking great. And then you hear the rest of the song, and the song hits you with, I believe in God, I don't believe in thought. And at that point, I just turn it off. The song's called Astronaut in the Ocean. I mean, if you're not expecting lyrics like, I believe in God, I don't believe in thought, then you're, then you're expecting the wrong thing. I mean, the song is ridiculous. I, I don't think that that line's too out of character. I think the song's kind of a slap. I don't know. I've heard it a few times. It's not my favorite, but I think that it's a little... Dear Winter by AJR. No, 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 AJR. No, 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 no. However... I'm curious, what, 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 how does AJR ruin this song? The first verse of the acoustic guitar and heartfelt lyrics makes me tear up for this brief moment. I forgot I'm listening to AJR. Then the chorus happens with the stupid ah. Pause! Dog shit! This song sucks already. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, dear winter. I'm this is uh, the most fucking umbrella way of saying I got bullied in school and I didn't get therapy because I didn't believe in it, so I made a song out of it instead. Winter. You know what? The lyrics of this song are so bad that the Oz are in a weird way the most relieving part of this terrible song. I'm giving this shit a red headphones. Dog Bad example. Next! Nails for breakfast, tax for snacks has an instrumental, uh, interesting instrumental opening. It's completely and utterly tanked by the second Brendan starts singing with that disgusting fucking autotune layering. If you've not heard this autotune, congrats. You are now about to hear the worst autotune I might have ever heard. Song's ass. It's pretty bad. However, it's not as bad as I remember. It's bad, but I remember actually like throwing up to this song. It was so bad back in the days. But you know, what can I say? I've built up a musical tolerance like none other. And to where I actually find AJR more intolerable than this. 
Ooh, look what you made me do. I remember hearing the first verse and it sounded kind of promising, but that chorus killed whatever small amount of hope I had for that song. Look, I never liked this song. I never liked that chorus. But I, I always was like, I was surprised how angry people got at it. It's like, yeah, sure. It's like, oh, look what you made me do. Ooh, and it's cringe, but uh, the song's bad. Not going to play it because I have a feeling that if you know what it is, you don't want to hear it again. Pink Cell Phone by Deftones. We talked about this song, uh, the, but it, I think that the base of this song is not really that great in the first place, though this is a good example. Anyone can play guitar sounds like such a groovy and cool song for the intro and verse. It's so good, even though I've heard it many times. I always listen to da, da, da. Wait, that's actually so good. But then the chorus hits with its 90s pop rocky glory, and I'm instantly reminded how cheesy the whole thing is. Okay. I don't remember my own reaction to this song. Oh, what, 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 what? Come on. Yeah. Oh. Sounds like a fucking like 90s alternative rock song and almost to a point of being corny. It's so by the books, but. Oh yeah, that is a pretty, you know, I mean, in the context of the way you describe it, the chorus is a little tacky, I will admit. Easy, Offended by Eminem. We already went over this track, uh, but yeah, people, everybody agrees. Jessica by Big Ball of B. I was totally hooked in by, and then the groove and 20 happened. This already was nominated for worst songs of all time, so how can you ruin a song that's already so horrible? I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying. And that's going to be it for part one. Thank you for watching this video. Ruin Songs part two will be coming out uh, relatively soon. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe. And if you have any ideas for topics that I should cover in the future, let me know down in the comments. All right, peace out.